Hey, you ever try to make a trap beat like... But instead you played around with presets until you ended up either giving up or settling for something that's worse than what you had in mind? Well, me too. And because of that, the other day I decided to try and copy what these other trap melodies were making. And using Hold That Heat by Southside featuring Future and Travis Scott as an example, here's what I found. I found a simple two note progression that will instantly help you make better trap melodies. Here you can see Hold That Heat simplified MIDI. Doesn't sound much like it, does it? But that's mainly because of the heart belt preset they're using and the delay. Listen to this. Now, the thing that makes this melody sound so good and the thing that is gonna make your trap beat sound much better from now on in my opinion is the use of half-step intervals. Half-step intervals are essentially a space between notes either harmonic or melodic of one half-step or simply the distance between two notes in a keyboard. Now, how are you supposed to use this information? Well, let me show you. There are two main ways you can use this information to your advantage, and today we'll discuss the second one. Hold that heat uses this interval as you can see in the chords right here. This is the base of how that melody was made. All the fancy effects and presets are built on top of these bases. As you can see now, these chords don't even fit into the minor scale at all. So how did they even come up with them? Well, that's your first takeaway. Instead of the natural minor scale, you're gonna want to use the harmonic minor scale. See how the seventh is one step higher? Well, that enables this chord progression to fit. And because of this, the harmonic minor scale is better suited for trap beats. You can still use the natural minor, of course, but at least experiment with the harmonic once in a while, you'll be surprised. Now, you might be asking yourself, why does these two notes being played after one another work. It works because it sounds weird to our brains hearing these two notes that are so close yet not the same. In our interval tree we can see that they are the dissonance, which means it makes us feel like this needs a resolution. It's not a satisfying sound on its own. That's why they use this type of trick in alarms or horror films, and as of now you're also gonna use it in your trap beats. But before you go let me show you instead of tell you. This is all that hits chord progression using the half step interval, next to a version of it that doesn't use it. You tell me which one feels darker. And now with that knowledge, all you need to do is move that chord progression into your own MIDI. Find a bell sample that fits it well, add reverb, add some half time automated to hit right at the drop, add some distorted trap drums, and last but not least, some sort of intro so the melody introduction feels way harder. And here's how something like that might sound. Like I said, here we discuss the second way to use a half step interval. If you want to see me discuss the first and most common way to use this trick, click on this video right here. And if you want to learn all the music theory I know, the link in the description will take you straight to my ebook where I explain everything you need to know in the simplest way possible. Anyway, that's it. See you next week.